What do your kids know about 4th of July? Hello, this is Kathy Reichel with tips for living well together to build strong families and strong people. This week's topic is the 4th of July. Don't let this 4th of July pass without seizing the opportunity to ponder and discuss the miracle that happened on that day in 1776. Don't assume your kids are learning this important stuff in school. In this day of global mindedness and blame America first, chances are good that your children have not been inspired to swell with pride for their country or to be thankful to God for our forefathers for the amazing freedoms and abundance we enjoy. Here are some things to think about. United States citizens can cross 50 state borders, 3,794,101 square miles, according to CIA World Factbook, without having to show papers, change currency, or struggle with a different language. It is unusual to find a U.S. family without indoor plumbing, electricity, clean drinking water, clothing, and access to food. If people in the U.S. are willing to be persistent and work hard, both men and women of any color or creed can own a business, get an education in the field of their choice, and own their own homes. United States citizens can voice and print criticism of their government and petition for change. Though it sometimes seems to be discouraged in public places, people in the United States can still enjoy the freedom to express their religious beliefs according to the dictates of their hearts. If you think about those who consider themselves enemies of the United States and or are its harshest critics, for the most part they do not or cannot afford their citizens the above benefits and freedoms. Those men who signed the Declaration of Independence, having a decent respect to the opinions of mankind, set forth to the world the most spiritually astute concept of good government ever articulated. They asserted that it was self-evident that all men were created equal and that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. This kicked off the most amazing era of freedom and prosperity the world has ever known. This new era was not without sacrifice and did not happen overnight. Consider this from the American family traditions. Have you ever wondered what happened to the 56 men who signed the Declaration of Independence? Five signers were captured by the British as traitors and tortured before they died. Twelve had their homes ransacked and burned. Two lost their sons serving in the Revolutionary Army. Another had two sons captured. Nine of the 56 fought and died from wounds or hardships of the Revolutionary War. They signed and they pledged their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor. Citizens of the United States can be very proud of our heritage. Take some time to be thankful and talk about it this 4th of July. I'd love to read your thoughts on teaching kids about our great heritage in the signing of our Declaration of Independence. Leave me a comment and please like, share, and click subscribe on YouTube for more tools to help your family thrive. This is Kathy Reichel. Thanks for tuning in.